Imagine this, you're working in the fast-paced world of news media when one morning out of the blue you receive a message that says, you're fired. It's shocking, heartbreaking, and feels unreal. But the truth is, this kind of abrupt firing has happened across many industries. And what unfolded at Fox News is nothing short of jaw-dropping. Tucker Carlson, the highest-rated personality on Fox News, has been fired. This moment is too inherently ridiculous to continue. And so it won't. In this video, we're diving into the astonishing stories behind the terminations at Fox News, where employees were let go under some surprising circumstances. Stay tuned. Continued misogyny and harassment at a network that says they've cleaned up their acts since my case. Starting with Tucker Carlson. Tucker Carlson's journey through Fox News is a roller coaster of dazzling success and dramatic downfall. Starting in 2009 as a contributor, Carlson quickly made a name for himself in conservative media. By 2016, he was hosting Tucker Carlson Tonight, which soared to become the top show in its time slot. His bold style and willingness to push the envelope made him a magnet for both high ratings and controversy. Despite facing a slew of scandals, from accusations of promoting white nationalist views to controversies over his COVID-19 and election coverage, Carlson's show maintained impressive ratings. For weeks, the media told you it was wrong to worry about the coronavirus. But his career took a sudden turn in April 2023, just after Fox settled a massive $786.5 million lawsuit with Dominion Voting Systems. The timing of Carlson's exit sparked intense speculation about the true reasons behind it, leaving a significant gap in Fox News' primetime lineup and raising questions about the future direction of the network. Roger Ailes Roger Ailes, the founding CEO of Fox News, saw his career come to a dramatic end due to sexual harassment allegations, which marked a significant turning point for the network. Ailes launched Fox News in 1996 with Rupert Murdoch's backing, transforming it into a conservative media powerhouse. Known for his ruthless management style and talent scouting prowess, Ailes played a key role in shaping the network's identity and success. In July 2016, Ailes faced a severe backlash when former Fox News anchor Gretchen Carlson filed a harassment lawsuit against him. Continued misogyny and harassment at a network that says they've cleaned up their acts since my case. This lawsuit opened the floodgates for other women, including Megyn Kelly, to come forward with similar allegations. Despite initial support from the Murdoch family, Ailes was forced to resign within two weeks of Carlson's lawsuit. He left the network with a $40 million exit package, but his reputation was damaged beyond repair. Ailes' departure exposed deep-seated issues of and harassment at Fox News, leading to a series of high-profile exits and settlements. He died less than a year later, in May 2017, leaving behind a complicated legacy as both a media visionary and a symbol of workplace misconduct. Bill O'Reilly Bill O'Reilly's exit from Fox News was a monumental shift in the world of cable news. For more than 20 years, O'Reilly was the dominant force with his show, The O'Reilly Factor setting the benchmark for Fox News primetime. Known for his fiery demeanor and no-spin-zone approach, O'Reilly was a prominent conservative voice. Nothing wrong with that, but you don't want to crush your relationship with Europe because we still need them. However, O'Reilly's tenure was overshadowed by serious allegations of sham harassment. Although the first claims emerged in 2004, it wasn't until April 2017 that the full extent of the allegations came to light. The New York Times exposed that Fox had settled multiple harassment claims involving O'Reilly, totaling around $13 million. This revelation led to a mass exodus of advertisers from his show and immense pressure on Fox News. Despite initial backing, the network had no choice but to part ways with O'Reilly marking the end of an era and underscoring the impact of the Hash Me Too movement in demanding accountability from powerful figures. Megyn Kelly Megyn Kelly's departure from Fox News in January 2017 was a significant moment in the network's history and Kelly's career. Joining Fox News in 2004, Kelly quickly made a name for herself with her legal acumen and on-air presence. By 2013, she was hosting The Kelly File, which became one of the most watched programs on cable news. Her star power reached its zenith during the 2016 presidential election, particularly with her confrontation with Donald Trump over his treatment of women. About our coverage after a show, 
or a presidential debate. Despite her prominence, Kelly's departure from Fox News shocked many, especially when she joined NBC News. Though not a firing, her exit was seen as a major loss for Fox and a coup for NBC. Kelly's tenure at NBC, however, was short-lived and fraught with challenges. Her Sunday night news magazine show failed to gain traction, and her controversial comments about blackface in Halloween costumes led to further issues. Kelly's story underscores the difficulties of transitioning between different media environments, and the pitfalls of becoming the story rather than reporting it. Ed Henry Ed Henry joined Fox News in 2011, quickly becoming a respected figure at the network. As the chief White House correspondent and co-anchor of America's Newsroom, he played a central role in covering major political events and shaping Fox's news coverage. His journalism background, including a stint at CNN, made him one of the network's key players. However, Henry's rising career came to a sudden halt. In 2016, reports of an extramarital affair surfaced, but it wasn't until 2020 that his fall became dramatic. A lawsuit filed that year accused Henry of harassment and assault, leading Fox News to take swift action. In July 2020, the network terminated his employment, citing willful misconduct in the workplace. This decisive response underscored Fox News' growing intolerance toward misconduct, reflecting a broader reckoning across media organizations in the wake of Hash Me Too. Glenn Beck Glenn Beck's tenure at Fox News, though brief, was marked by high ratings and controversy. Beck joined Fox News in 2009 after a stint at CNN Headline News, bringing a devoted following and a penchant for conspiracy theories. His show quickly became a hit, drawing over 2 million viewers nightly with his emotional and often tearful performances, highlighted by his chalkboard presentations. No war for oil. No war. No war without Congress! And then we have war. However, Beck's increasingly extreme rhetoric and controversial statements, including calling President Obama a racist, led to an advertiser exodus and growing concern within Fox News about the network's reputation. By April 2011, Fox News announced that Beck would be transitioning off his daily program. Although framed as a mutual decision, the network's weariness of Beck's controversial statements and the resulting advertiser boycotts likely played a significant role in his departure. Trish Regan Trish Regan's exit from Fox Business Network in 2020 was a significant development, reflecting broader issues within the network. Regan, who joined Fox Business in 2015, was known for her show Trish Regan Primetime, where she offered sharp analysis on economic and financial issues. Her departure was precipitated by her controversial comments regarding the COVID-19 pandemic. Reagan was criticized for downplaying the severity of the virus and accusing the media of using it to undermine President Trump. This led to a decline in her show's viewership and, ultimately, to her exit from the network. Reagan's departure underscored the challenges faced by Fox Business in managing its programming and addressing controversial statements. Eric Bowling. Eric Bowling's rise at Fox News began in 2007, where he became known for his financial insights and bold conservative opinions. A regular co-host of the popular show, The Five, Bowling's presence grew stronger when he launched his own program, The Specialists. His style resonated with viewers, making him a staple of the network's lineup. However, Bowling's career at Fox took a devastating turn in 2017, when reports emerged alleging that he had sent inappropriate, unsolicited photos to female colleagues. The allegations were part of a HuffPost investigation, and despite Bowling's staunch denials and a defamation lawsuit against the reporter, Fox News took immediate action. He was suspended, and the network ultimately parted ways with him. This marked another chapter in Fox's efforts to tackle <laughs> harassment issues following scandals involving high-profile figures like Roger Ailes and Bill O'Reilly. Shepard Smith Shepard Smith was a prominent and respected figure at Fox News, having been with the network since its inception in 1996. Known for his commitment to straightforward news reporting, Smith often stood apart from the network's opinion-driven shows. His approach earned him a reputation for reliability and fact-based journalism. However, his critical stance on the Trump administration and his willingness to fact-check political claims set him at odds with other network personalities. 
In October 2019, Smith announced his departure from Fox News, effective immediately. So recently, I asked the company to allow me to leave Fox News. After requesting that I stay, they obliged. This sudden exit raised eyebrows and fueled speculation about internal disagreements. Smith's departure highlighted the growing tension between the network's news division and its opinion segments, marking a significant shift in Fox News' editorial landscape. Melissa Francis Melissa Francis, who joined Fox Business Network in 2012, quickly made a name for herself with her sharp financial insights and co-hosting role on Outnumbered. Her career at Fox News saw her becoming a trusted voice in financial commentary, praised for her expertise and engaging on-screen presence. Democrats are going to seize upon that, and probably rightly so. In 2020, Francis's career took a dramatic turn when she became embroiled in a dispute over pay equity. She filed a gender-based pay discrimination claim, alleging she was paid less than her male counterparts. The situation escalated in October 2020 when Francis discovered her firing in a highly impersonal manner, seeing a message reading, you've been canceled on her teleprompter before her live broadcast. This incident underscored tensions between Francis and the network, bringing to light broader concerns about Fox News handling of pay equity and employee treatment. Janine Pirro Janine Pirro became a well-known face at Fox News starting in 2006, bringing her background as a former prosecutor and judge to the network. Her show, Justice with Judge Janine, was a Saturday night favorite, known for its passionate conservative viewpoints and staunch support for President Trump. Pirro's candid and often controversial commentary made her a distinctive voice in the network's lineup. Her fame took a hit in March 2019 when her remarks about Representative Ilhan Omar's hijab sparked significant backlash. Omar wears a hijab, which according to the Quran 33... Pirro suggested that Omar's choice of attire was indicative of Sharia law, which led Fox News to issue an unusual public rebuke, stating that her views did not reflect the network's values. This incident led to a temporary suspension for Pirro. Despite her return, the controversy revealed the delicate balance Fox News had to maintain between provocative commentary and journalistic integrity, as well as its sensitivity to public and advertiser reactions. Geraldo Rivera Geraldo Rivera's exit from Fox News in 2023 marked the end of a significant chapter for both the network and the veteran journalist. Rivera, who joined Fox News in 2001, had already built a diverse and storied career prior to his arrival. Known for his investigative reporting, Rivera had made his name in the 1970s with his groundbreaking work on the mistreatment of patients at the Willowbrook State School and later for his infamous 1986 special, The Mystery of Al Capone's Vaults. His larger-than-life personality made him a natural fit for television, and over the years, he worked as a war correspondent and hosted his own talk show, Geraldo. Hi, everybody. As part of my post-Fox life, I'm starting my own YouTube channel. At Fox News, Rivera initially gained attention for his reporting from war zones, including his coverage of the Afghanistan and Iraq wars, where he often found himself on the front lines. His career at Fox later transitioned into that of a political commentator, where he regularly appeared on The Five and various other opinion-based shows. Rivera's role at Fox News was unique, as he often served as a moderate or even liberal counterweight to the network's conservative voices. He wasn't afraid to challenge the status quo, especially on contentious issues like immigration, gun control, and race relations. His outspoken criticism of former President Trump during his administration, particularly on issues like the border wall and the January 6th Capitol insurrection, made him a rare voice of dissent at Fox News. This willingness to go against the grain, however, often put him at odds with his more conservative co-hosts and the broader tone of the network. In June 2023, Rivera announced his departure from Fox, citing his firing from The Five as the key reason. He described his exit as bittersweet, reflecting on his decades-long association with the network. Rivera's departure underscored a broader trend at Fox News, where more moderate voices like his appeared increasingly out of step with the network's evolving editorial direction. His resignation symbolized the network's ongoing shift toward a more uniform conservative ideology, which some critics argue comes at the expense of ideological diversity and open debate. Kimberly Guilfoyle 
Kimberly Guilfoyle's departure from Fox News in July 2018 was a high-profile and controversial exit that sent ripples through the media world. Guilfoyle had joined Fox News in 2006, where she quickly made her mark as a strong and dynamic conservative voice. And was having me on, and so I greatly appreciate that. Oh. Women helping other women. With her background as a former prosecutor and legal analyst, Guilfoyle brought a sharp intellect and charisma to her role as co-host of The Five, making her one of the most prominent figures on the network. Her blend of legal expertise and outspoken conservative views endeared her to Fox's core audience, and she became a familiar face on various Fox News programs over the years. While her professional career at Fox News was flourishing, her personal life began to attract media attention as well. In 2018, it became public knowledge that Guilfoyle had begun a relationship with Donald Trump Jr. This relationship, along with rumors that she was interested in taking on a more active role in promoting the Trump family's political ambitions, added an extra layer of speculation to her exit. Fox News officially described her departure as a mutual decision, but reports soon surfaced, suggesting that Guilfoyle's resignation was influenced by allegations of inappropriate workplace behavior, including claims of harassment by a former assistant. Although Guilfoyle has consistently denied these accusations, her exit came at a time when Fox News was still grappling with the fallout from the harassment scandals involving Roger Ailes and Bill O'Reilly. Following her departure, Guilfoyle transitioned into a prominent role in political advocacy, becoming a key figure in Donald Trump Jr.'s political circle and working on the fundraising and media campaigns for Trump's 2020 re-election bid. It is a place of immense wealth immeasurable innovation. Her departure from Fox not only signaled a new phase in her career, but also reflected broader shifts at the network as it continued to navigate the post-Ales era. With high-profile figures like Guilfoyle exiting, Fox was redefining its identity in the wake of leadership changes and public scrutiny over workplace culture. Bob Beckel Bob Beckel was a political heavyweight long before he joined Fox News in 2011. Having served as the campaign manager for Walter Mondale's 1984 presidential run, he was no stranger to the world of high-stakes political battles. Beckel brought that experience to Fox News, where he became one of the few liberal voices on a network dominated by conservative perspectives. As a co-host on The Five, he quickly earned a reputation for being blunt, combative, and unapologetically passionate about his political beliefs. It was just, I mean, it was just so nice to see those people. His chemistry with his conservative co-hosts kept the debates fiery and entertaining, drawing in a diverse audience. Many viewers appreciated Beckel's willingness to stand his ground, even when he was clearly outnumbered. His role on The Five made him a key figure in shaping the show's success, providing much-needed balance to its roundtable format. However, his time at Fox wasn't without controversy. In 2015, Beckel temporarily left the show due to health issues, but returned later to reclaim his seat at the table. Yet, his return would be short-lived. In February 2017, Beckel was suspended following allegations of workplace misconduct. After taking a leave of absence, Fox News ultimately decided not to renew his contract in May of that year. Beckel's departure signaled the end of an era, as he was one of the rare liberal voices on the conservative network and his exit left a gap in the show's dynamic that was hard to fill. Stacey Dash Stacey Dash, once known for her breakout role as Diane in Clueless, made a surprising career pivot when she entered the world of political commentary. Joining Fox News in 2014, Dash brought her outspoken conservative views to the forefront, often wading into hot-button issues with a level of boldness that few others matched. As a frequent guest on Fox shows like Outnumbered, Dash made headlines for her sharp and, at times, controversial takes on topics like race, politics, and cultural issues. Her blunt style, especially on matters concerning race, often stirred controversy. In one instance, Dash called for the elimination of Black History Month, arguing that it was a form of segregation. Statements like these polarized audiences. Just like there shouldn't be a Black History Month. You know, it, we're American. Some admired her courage to challenge mainstream narratives, while others found her positions divisive and inflammatory. Dash's tenure at Fox News ended in 2018 amid internal shifts at the network. 
Although her departure was described as a mutual decision, it coincided with a period of programming changes at Fox. Her outspoken views had occasionally clashed with the network's broader goals, and she faced growing criticism, even from Fox's conservative base. Despite the mixed reception, Dash's time at Fox solidified her place as one of the network's most controversial commentators, and her exit reflected the network's ongoing recalibration of its political and cultural messaging. Andrea Tantaros Andrea Tantaros's exit from Fox News in 2016 was marked by a legal battle and allegations of all harassment. Tantaros, who had joined Fox News in 2010 and co-hosted Outnumbered, was known for her conservative commentary and sharp insights on political issues. In August 2016, Tantaros filed a lawsuit against Fox News, alleging that she had been subjected to a hostile work environment and harassment by network executives, including Roger Ailes. Um, and if you notice, it's the most carefully crafted non-thank you. The lawsuit claimed that her career was negatively impacted as a result of her complaints. Fox News eventually settled with Tantaros, and she was released from her contract. Her departure highlighted the broader issues of harassment and workplace misconduct within the network. Ralph Peters Ralph Peters was one of Fox News' most distinguished military analysts. A retired army officer and a prolific author, Peters brought decades of military experience to his role as a commentator. Known for his straight talk and often hard-hitting critiques, Peters wasn't afraid to call out political leaders or even the network itself when he felt it was warranted. From 2007 until his departure in 2018, Peters became a reliable voice on matters of national security, foreign policy, and military strategy. Peters was widely respected for his expertise, and his no-nonsense delivery resonated with viewers who valued his straightforward approach. He frequently provided analysis on key military conflicts, often breaking down complex geopolitical issues with clarity and authority. His background as a decorated military officer gave his commentary added weight, and he became a trusted figure when it came to foreign policy discussions. However, Peters' relationship with Fox News grew strained over time. By 2018, he became increasingly disillusioned with the network's direction, particularly its coverage of the Trump administration. The thing people must understand. In an explosive resignation letter, Peters accused Fox of propagating disinformation and prioritizing opinion over fact-based reporting. He expressed deep concern that the network was moving away from objective journalism, especially on issues of national security. Peter's decision to leave Fox News highlighted the internal tensions within the network, especially between its hard news reporting side and its opinion-driven commentary shows. His exit was seen as a bold stand for journalistic integrity, and his departure left a noticeable gap in Fox's roster of military experts. Despite his controversial exit, Peters remains a respected figure in military and national security circles, continuing to write and speak on matters of global importance. As we wrap up, it's clear that the drama at Fox News isn't just about what's happening on air. It's a whole show behind the scenes, from the rise and fall of big names like Tucker Carlson and Bill O'Reilly to the quieter exits that made waves, it's a reminder that in the world of media, nothing stays static for long. Each departure tells a story of its own, reflecting the fast-paced and often unpredictable nature of news. And while these stories might seem like yesterday's news, they set the stage for tomorrow's headlines. So keep your eyes peeled, because in the world of Fox News, there's always a new twist just around the corner. Thanks for tuning in, and until next time, stay curious.